So the trend is for 2024 is integrated solutions if you are looking to get into freelance web design and web development. Well, not just, not just for freelance, for agencies as well. What does that mean? Instead of having to go over here to get your design work done, to have to go over there to get your, your AI integration done, go over there for your billing, go over there for, you know. It's a lot of work. If you're freelancing, if you're a, uh, an agency, Speed of development is a huge part of the, uh, well, it's a big part of the job in terms of being profitable, right? You have to get the work out as quickly as possible for your clients. And that includes much more than just building out the sites or building out the web apps. It's also just communications with the clients, billing, integrations, all these sort of things. So we're seeing now platforms come out where these integrations are coming together. So you see that with the low code and no code platforms and there's also broader platforms that allow for a better integration of your workflow as a freelancer or as an agency. So I did a review for Wix Studio recently. And um, the reason I agreed to do the sponsored videos is because it's a good product. So I have a mentoring program and we have bi-weekly coaching sessions and somebody came on from the mentoring program. He's working to become a full-time freelance web developer, web designer, and he was asking me about Wix Studio, what I thought about it. So here's a snippet from that meeting. It just happened a couple days ago, and well, actually yesterday. And uh, so you can hear the question and answer and uh, get a feel for what Wix Studio could bring to the table. But more importantly than Wix Studio is just understanding the importance of software integration uh, and streamline workflows as a freelancer. So whether you use Wix Studio or some other platform, or you, you hobble together, you stitch together your own workflow, that's key. That's, that's nothing new now. It's something I've been talking about for ages now. Workflow is everything, especially as a freelancer or an agency, because uh, speed of development, it's all about speed of development. All right, let's just jump into the video. Okay, can you talk a little bit, uh, if, if today is not enough time, it could be a YouTube video suggestion, but can you talk about Wix Studio a little bit? Because the platform interests me, definitely. Uh, I already saw the pricing, like the pricing is a little, uh, like it's $400 a year. But the two things that looks interesting with Wix Studio is the API, like having your own your own custom uh, front end that you code by yourself and then you plug the, the Wix API so you can use all the GUI uh, of Wix Studio in the back end and also the, the front end component market that looks interesting. I did a, uh, I don't know if you saw, I did a, a, a sponsorship deal with Wix. Yeah. Uh, so I have another video coming out where I go into more detail about things. The reason I did that deal, I refuse most sponsorship deals. No. Uh, the reason I did that deal is because it's actually a pretty cool platform. And it uh, looks cool. It has um, what makes it really interesting, but it's it's totally integrated. So you have, but it's not just in terms of you got your visual design tools, your AI assisted coding, you have uh, a growing library of uh, functionality, if you will, you can access whether it be on a coding level or on a just like plug in a CMS, et cetera. Um, it also has some interesting, it has like, for example, they have an AI tool for layout. So you lay out your pages, drag and drop, and then you can point their AI at it and it will reconfigure your AI, your layout will line up things based on its own analysis of its own uh, website. Like, I don't know how many thousands and thousands. It does a pretty good job. It also has AI built in for image generation, AI built in for copy generation. Um, now, you could go to third-party tools and pay a license here or get this for free and bring it all in, but it's all there. So you just go click, boom, ge generate placeholder image, click, boom, generate headline. And you can put in like, when you create a project in Wix Studio, you, you can set its themes. Like this is a yoga studio. Uh, and, you know, here are the colors. Blah, blah, blah. So then when the AI, for example, when you ask it to create, for example, a placeholder, a placeholder image, or a banner or something, you can tell it, you know, this is for this yoga studio. Uh, give put Have a woman doing warrior one facing a window, it's, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it, it generates your image. So it's just a, a nice integrated solution to be able to um, rapidly put out web websites and web apps. Um, 
Yeah, and it integrates with all these other third-party tools. Another interesting thing, well, keep in mind, when we back up, they designed this for freelancers and they designed this platform for uh, agencies. So they were thinking of all that. So with that in mind, they even have all the billing and communications modules integrated within the platform. So you can issue invoices, if I recall, you could send out notifications to clients. You, you can even set permissions on your sites and your apps. So you can create an account per, with a read-only permission for your client to come and check out what the work you've done and they can drop comments. So it's just a nice streamlined approach. So all it's all put in together. It's pretty cool. Does that nice. answer the question? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, to me, learning that seems like, uh, of course, it's an unexplored territory. Is there a community to get some help? I know there's docs. I found uh, on the platforms there's plenty of documentation, but is there? They, there's no tutorials on the Wix how to use it and stuff like that. So it's definitely an ex unexplored territory. So how do I how do I yeah. teach myself? Yep. Let me answer. So they have extensive training materials within the platform when you join. So Wix and Wix Studio are totally different products. So you're not going to find Wix Studio information. Mm. On Wix. Um, so yeah, you have that. It's tons of tutorials, tons of training of videos, and they're putting out lots of resources. They also have, which is interesting, this, you can create plugins, for example, uh, just like you would on Shopify, I would imagine. You can create plugins and extend functionality and put it on their marketplace. And then you can start generating passive income. Mm -hmm. You can also, like a big problem that freelancers have, it happens to everybody once they get going, is that you start off, you don't have many projects, and then all of a sudden you got too many projects and you don't know what to do, um, what are you going to do? So they have um, a way for users of Wake Studio to be able to register, to get tested and registered as users. So you can go into uh, their community and say, hey, I need somebody to do this, this, and this, and this, and hire them through the platform oh. and vice versa. So if you have excess work to do, you have an avenue to find talent that is used to the platform. So okay. um, yeah, that's kind of a cool uh, feature as well. As I said, you can handle building. There's also options for you to get involved in reoccurring revenue. This is a question we get often enough. How do you make reoccurring revenue as an independent contractor? So they have the ability for you to do that. So you get a piece of uh, the hosting. So you can deploy on their backbone or you can just take what work you have and put it on some other mm -hmm. platform. You don't necessarily need to use their hosting solutions. But if you do, you can get a piece of that hosting revenue. You can get a piece, let's say you license uh, an e-commerce component or something, you can get a piece of that as well on a monthly basis. So if you imagine over time, you build up, you know, whatever, 100 clients and they're all hosting there and they're all paying, uh, you know, an extra 25 bucks a month for e-commerce, blah, 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 blah. You see where I'm going with that? Yeah. So it's interesting, you know, it's, uh, it's brand new. Um, so I, I can't... You know, I played with it. I worked with it. You know, on a you know as much as I could. So it's worth looking into for sure. Okay, cool. Hmm. Thank you for that long answer, Steph. No, no, no. It's a good time to ask. I just looked at just the whole thing. You know. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, Tony has a question in that regard. Yeah, well, you can skip. Um, I'm done here. Thank you, Steph. No, cool. Hey, do you mind, guys, this segment if I snip it out and put it publicly? Would you be okay with that, Christian? And Everybody else? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Per, who, somebody had a question about this. Uh, Tony, I think it was. Uh, yeah, I was wondering. We were asking earlier before you got here. We were talking about Wix. Uh, how much access to the underlying code do you get? Like, how nitty gritty can you get with the functionality? I mean, if you're able to make plugins and 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 everything for other users to use, I imagine a lot of it, right? Yeah, you have you have full access. Now, I haven't looked at they all these modules. Mm -hmm. But you have full access, like they have a full, they've integrated a full blown AI code editing within the platform. So that's, and I looked at it, it's it's, it's very robust, you know. And, okay. Yeah, so you have a lot of flexibility. Again, it's like I would have to work with it for months to, to give you my definitive, definitive, definitive. But it, <laughs> um, for sure. it looks really good. It's like, you know, it's definitely going to have its, what I, the big thing about it is that, it's it's taking it's taking all these disparate tools AI image generation AI code gen, uh, generation AI text and copy generation 
uh, integration where communications modules so that you can easily communicate and with the client. These are things I've been talking about for years, right? It's like that being able, so now that they put it all together, you can see they've spoken to a lot of freelancers. <laughs> you can see that, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so it's, it's definitely worth looking into. So uh, the WYSIWYG editor, I worked with it. That tool in of itself is very solid, very good. Uh, code editing looked pretty good when I dabbled around with it. And uh, it might be a time to get in, you know, it might be time to, you know, if you're going to get into any new platform, it's early adopters typically can take a big chunk, you know.